Right, I've put my welly boots on, which can only mean one thing. Actually, it doesn't mean anything. I just put my welly boots on. <laughs> now, I've uh, really missed the boat on this one. Uh, the last, I guess, week, week or so, several days, we've had this inversion uh, where we've had lots of moisture in the air, lots of fog, warm air, up, uh, warm temperatures up in the mountains, which was kind of like where when I was up at Mount Seymour, it was quite warm, and colder air in the valleys. And uh, I've been putting it off, putting it off to, to get out here. And of course, the day that I decide to uh, come out and photograph the fog, uh, there's no fog, <laughs> or very little fog. So uh, I've come out to Golden Ears Provincial Park again, to uh, another area that I, I haven't been to for a very long time. And I thought, well, you know what, rather than just not bother at all, I thought I'd come out here and really try to challenge myself to, uh, to get some images. So this vlog could be either quite long or really, really short. <laughs> so the area that I've, I've come out to is, uh, it's actually second growth, which a lot of golden ears is anyway. Uh, but what's neat about this area here, and I, I think you can kind of see the trees behind me, they're all very uniform. And uh, there's some, uh, some bracken ferns here that uh, they've, they're not golden anymore, they've gone brown. Uh, but they look kind of neat, contrasted against the, uh, the green uh, moss. And there's actually a little bit of fog in the area, so uh, it does really give it some a nice, you know, ethereal feel to it. And actually, just looking down the trail right now, it looks it really looks really quite nice just behind me here. I um, many many years ago, I came out here and took an image with my four x five, which I'll I'll post right up here. And I think I might have put it in one of my other videos. And it's a really popular uh, image. I called it Second Chance because it's protected second growth forest because now that it's in provincial park and um, it's one of my best selling uh, images uh, I do a number of shows uh, throughout the year uh, like Art Vancouver I did a show in um, uh, the Art Expo in New York last year and uh, yeah that's one of my pop most popular uh, photographs it just has so much depth has cool tones in the backgrounds with fog and then it has warmer tones in the foreground and I took the image uh, just round here somewhere and the reason why it has uh, such nice warm tones in the foreground is just over here there's a clearing so you get direct sunlight coming through that clearing or warm light but then in the background way down there it's it's dense forest so it's it's very much in the shade and uh, so you have that, that nice contrast. And even now, as I look at this scene now, uh, it, it has that nice kind of glow to it. So I'm gonna see if I can find something a little bit different than, than that image. Uh, it is difficult in here because it's, this again, there's no real center of interest. So you have to find something to kind of draw people in. So that's the challenge today. And uh, if I have time, then I might go down to that uh, the mossy trees again and, and see if I can find something in there again because the, the ferns haven't been flattened yet by the snow uh, we haven't had any snow uh, yeah we haven't had any snow in this area yet so the ferns are still looking half decent the sword ferns anyway right let's see what I can find in here Wow, I really lucked out. It's really pretty in here right now. The fog is great because on the way here, it didn't look promising at all. So just goes to show that, you know, a bit of perseverance pays off sometimes. 
I think I found a composition already. There's some really beautiful backlit uh, bracken ferns just kind of back here. And uh, of course with the, the mist and the fog, it kind of really adds separation to the trees. So I still have to kind of maneuver around so that the, you know, the trees don't kind of merge in with the ones in the background, but the, the fog really helps with that. And uh, it's a pretty simple composition, just a, a number of lines or trees and then backlit mossy kind of uh, branches with uh, the, the bracken ferns that are kind of backlit a little bit. And then of course we've got some fog in the background, but it looks like it's slowly clearing. So I'm going to have to move pretty quickly with this one because there's some other compositions over here that I want to give a go as, uh, as well. But yeah, this is really, really quite nice. Right, lucky. The other thing I have to be a, bit, a little bit careful of, it's uh, really spongy down here, so the tripod is moving very easily. Uh, so I'm, I put the cable release on uh, just to, to make sure, and even um, locking up the mirror sometimes helps with uh, any kind of vibrations you might get from the shutter. Uh, the biggest challenge is, uh, has been trying to find a, a spot for my tea, you know, because uh, the moss is so uh, spongy and it's hard to find a, a firm place for it. <laughs> Of course, I, uh, I found that one composition and, and then I couldn't find anything else. Uh, I, think I think I might have found something else. I really like the light looking that way for the reasons that I talked about a little bit earlier. They have that nice uh, cool kind of tone in the background with the fog. And then because we've got some direct light or warmer light coming in from this gap in the, in the woods here, it's a really nice contrast, but I just can't seem to find anything looking that way. Uh, I really love these ferns, just backlit like this. Uh, so I'm just going to go with those for now. And uh, it's just gorgeous. But I, I've put on a, a breakthrough circular polarizer, uh, which incidentally I'm really digging. Uh, but in this case, I, I got a feeling it looks better without the polarizer. Sometimes I, I like a little bit of uh, glare on the leaves because uh, it, it fills in dark areas in the frame like if you get rid of all the glare then sometimes there's you know there's there's no kind of uh, separation between the the undergrowth and and leaves and such so i'm going to take uh, a, a number of images with the polarizer and then i'll take some uh, without the polarizer and then just choose the, the the best ones from from that group anyway i'm going to continue with this composition and then see if I can find anything further in the woods here. All right. Okay, now the fog has kind of uh, dissipated, which is a real shame because it, it really had a nice uh, kind of a blue cast to it. But the light uh, in here is still still pretty good. So, uh, and the colors are so vibrant right now. I don't know if it's because I've just been seeing a lot of gray and white lately, uh, but the greens are just so intense in here. And uh, with these kind of golden 
or the brownish color ferns, kind of somewhat backlit. Uh, it looks, well, to my eyes, it looks really good, but whether it will translate onto, on, into an image, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, composition is a, is a little bit haphazard. Uh, it's a little bit chaotic. The only thing that it really has going for it is the light and the, the tree trunks are quite uniform, so that's kind of nice. Okay, so this is the composition that I currently have. Uh, you can see that there's some really great uh, soft side lighting coming in there, which I, I really like because it, it gives the, uh, the scene some definition and depth. And what I've tried to do is uh, compose it in such a way that the trees are somewhat separated so that they're not merging with one another. And of course we have the nice uh, uh, moss in the, in the foreground and the ferns. And I've put on a circular polarizer again just to kind of uh, saturate those colors just a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit busy, uh, but it does have these really great uh, tree trunks that uh, form a nice, you know, a really nice uniform pattern. driven up the road a little bit to uh, where I was just a moment ago and uh, this is an area that might be familiar to some of you I've done a number of videos in here the last being uh, the what's in my bag video series that I did uh, I really love this area it's uh, it used to be an amphitheater they used to do slideshows and such uh, but that's long gone but there's all these uh, vine maples but the light is, is just fantastic right now We've got uh, fog rolling in and then now and then the sun will come out so we have beam, beams of light. Uh, now I have set up a composition back here with these arching maples here but I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. It, it might be a bit too busy. Uh, but I'll, I'll take a few shots and post them in the video and uh, you guys can uh, let me know if they're, uh, if they're too busy, if they don't work or if they do work or, or whatever. All right. Just like that, the mist is gone. <laughs> it didn't last very long at all. Wow. Just kind of went, it's gone. Probably because the sun came out for a bit, just burnt it right off really quickly. And now the clouds have kind of moved in. So I did manage to get a few uh, quick shots of backlit uh, mossy branches. Uh, I don't want to faff around with the video camera, otherwise I might miss it. So I, I took a quick couple of shots that I'll post in a minute. Uh, now, what I'm looking for right now is, uh, I call them wallpaper shots. So 
just more or less a pattern with no center of interest, but just a, a pattern of, it could be of anything. In this case, it's a pattern of these mossy trees. Uh, I've managed to find a, an area where you can't see any of the background, like bright spots in the background. I'm looking straight across. Uh, just waiting for the, uh, the sun's peaked out again. Just waiting for the, the sun to stop backlighting some of the branches here because they're a little bit too contrasty without that mist. Uh, some people like wallpaper shots. Uh, I, I quite like them, uh, but they're not everybody's cup of tea. Uh, if you're not really sure what I'm on about, uh, I'll post it with the other, the other images and uh, you can get a, a good look at what, I, what I'm talking about. I'll even put a little, uh, a little label on it, wallpaper image. <laughs> Right, just wait for the light to uh, settle down a bit and uh, I'll take my wallpaper shots. <laughs> okay, while I'm waiting for the light to cooperate, I just wanted to pass on a quick tip, especially to those of you that might be just starting out seriously in photography. Uh, this is something that I uh, harp on about quite a lot and that is light. Uh, I'm always going on about how poor the light is or I'm waiting for the light. And to be honest with you, as a, you know, a nature landscape photographer, uh, my primary subject really is all about light. Uh, personally, I'm not so um, hung up on the actual subject matter itself. I usually go for things that are, that are illuminated in quality light, whether that be trees, snow, mountains, or, or whatever. And I, for myself, I found that has improved my photography tenfold. Uh, I go out and I think, okay, so what type of light am, lighting am I having today? And then go for subjects that will look good in that type of lighting. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, there are three elements that make up a really great photograph. The first one, and probably the most important one, is light. Uh, you have to have light. Now, Good light, bad light, uh, I mean, you could go to the most exotic place on earth, but with poor light, it's not gonna help your photograph just because you're in a fantastic area. And then on the opposite side of that, you could go to a, an area that isn't so thrilling uh, to photograph in normal conditions, but if you get that special light, then it can elevate it to something that's just incredible. So light is extremely important. So first being light, then composition, and third, subject matter. They don't necessarily always have to go in that order, but I would always put light at the top of the list. And if you just concentrate on that, then I guarantee your photographs will improve very quickly. That's my take anyway. <laughs> I don't want to sound like a preacher. <laughs> ah, right, okay, so talking of light, the light I want for this image is working out pretty good right now, so I'm gonna take a picture of it. Well, thank you uh, for following me as I uh, chase the light today. It actually turned out much better than I thought it was going to be. 
Uh, when I left Vancouver this morning, it looked pretty grey and not terribly exciting, but uh, the light was in my favour today. So now whether I got any great images, uh, we'll see. I, you know, it's funny. I'll often uh, get images back from a trip and I'll look at them and I have kind of a lackluster response to them. And it takes a little while to uh, for them to grow on me. So, Raven. But anyway, thank you again for uh, watching the video and uh, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you enjoy or you want to see more content in the future, be sure to subscribe. All right, till next time. Thanks ever so much. Bye-bye.